Welcome to the Morning Download Podcast, your go-to resource for personal finance, economics, and market insights. In just eight minutes a day, we provide valuable information to help you make better money decisions. Don't forget to sign up for our free newsletter at https semicolon slash slash www.morningdownload.com slash subscribe. Let's dive right in. Let's kick off your morning with some interesting market news. It seems like things were relatively calm yesterday, with only minor movements happening. However, Apple completely stole the spotlight and dominated the charts. Those guys know how to make an impact. In the world of cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin had an exciting moment. After more than a month, it finally crossed the $27,000 mark. But unfortunately, it didn't stay there for long. It fell back down again. The volatility of these digital currencies never fails to keep things interesting, huh? Now here's a fun fact for you. Historically, the stock market tends to go up more often than it goes down. Over the past 100 years, the Dow Jones Industrial Average, DJIA, was up about 70% of the time. And in the last 40 years, the Standard & Poor's 500, S&P 500, was up about 77% of the years. Pretty promising, right? The tricky part, though, is figuring out exactly when those upward moments will happen. Moving on to today's hot topics. First up, home builders are feeling a bit down. There's some news swirling around that they aren't exactly thrilled about, so we'll dive into that and see what's going on. And of course, we can't forget about Apple. They're always making waves in the tech world, and it looks like they're set for yet another boost. We'll give you the lowdown on what's happening and how it may affect the market. Oh, and if you're planning a getaway this Christmas and looking for some budget-friendly options, we've got you covered. We've compiled a list of cheap holiday destinations that you might want to check out. Who says you need to break the bank to have a little fun during the holidays? All right, folks, that wraps up our morning download. Let's dive right into these topics and keep you in the loop. Stay tuned for more updates throughout the day. Home builder sentiment has taken a negative turn for the first time in about seven months. Builder confidence in the single family housing market dropped by five points in September, bringing it down to 45. Current sales conditions saw a decline of six points to 51, while sales expectations for the next six months dropped by six points as well. Additionally, buyer traffic decreased by five points. These indicators suggest that builders are not feeling very optimistic about the business. As a result, builders are making changes to their business model in order to attract more people. This could mean that we can expect greater incentives, such as reduced prices, in the housing market. The main reason behind this shift in sentiment is the high mortgage rates and reducing purchasing power. In fact, the average price cut has been 6%. According to Robert Dietz, the chief economist of the National Association of Home Builders, NAHB. High mortgage rates are clearly taking a toll on builder confidence and consumer demand, as a growing number of buyers are electing to defer a home purchase until long-term rates move lower. Moving on to global news, strikes continue to cause havoc in various parts of the world. There are also reports of Tesla considering building a factory in Turkey. Meanwhile, China's venture capital, VC deals, are not performing as well as expected. So let's talk about Apple's recent performance in the stock market. You might be wondering if it's a good time to invest in Apple, right? Well, it seems like Monday was a pretty solid day for the tech giant. Their shares closed at $177.97, marking a positive shift of 1.69%. Now, what's driving this upward movement? It seems that pre-orders for the new iPhone 15 are off to a fantastic start. That's definitely good news for Apple, but here's an even more exciting update. The company just announced some major annual updates for anyone with an iPhone released in 2018 or later. So what can we expect from this update? Well, it brings various improvements to tools like Safari, the phone app, and messages. Overall, it's looking like a pretty promising development. Now let's get to the big question. Should you buy Apple stocks? According to experts like Goldman Sachs and Wedbush, the demand for the latest iPhone is surpassing supply. That's a positive sign right there. In fact, Goldman Sachs is even predicting that Apple shares could experience more than a 20% increase in value. Sounds like some pretty significant upward potential. Of course, investing always comes with its share of risks and uncertainties. It's essential to do your own research and make an informed decision before jumping in. But based on the current positive indicators for Apple, things are looking quite promising. So, it seems South Korea is taking some serious action when it comes to regulating the trading of cryptocurrencies. 
they're particularly focused on cracking down on illegal activities like money laundering through over-the-counter OTC crypto trades. According to a report published in Korean, the government is concerned about certain OTC companies that have offshore corporations and are involved in converting illegally obtained virtual currencies into Korean won or foreign currencies. They see the need to regulate these companies as undeclared virtual asset trading businesses. And it's not just a small issue they're dealing with here. The value of unlawful foreign exchange transactions using cryptocurrencies is estimated to be around $4 billion in South Korea. That's a significant amount of money involved in potential illegal activities. By putting regulations in place, the South Korean government hopes to combat these illicit transactions and prevent money laundering through the crypto market. It's all about ensuring the proper and legal use of digital currencies within the country. It's an ongoing effort to stay ahead of the game and protect the financial system from criminal activities. And with the ever-evolving nature of cryptocurrencies, it's a challenge that many countries around the world are facing. Europe has become expensive and overcrowded during the Christmas season, prompting many Europeans to search for alternative holiday destinations. While we advocate for saving money, we also recognize the importance of taking vacations. Holidays bring people together, contribute to mental health, and offer a chance to rejuvenate. So how much should you spend on a holiday? We recommend allocating about 5-10% of your net yearly income. For instance, if you earn $100,000 net per year, that translates to $5,000, $10,000. Budgeting for your holiday is essential. By saving up and prepaying for vacations, you not only reduce stress, but can also take advantage of great deals. Now, where can you go on this budget? Here are our top picks. One, Albania. This Eastern European country offers stunning beaches and delicious food. In December, the average daily temperature ranges from 13 degrees Celsius, 55 degrees Fahrenheit, to six degrees Celsius, 43 degrees Fahrenheit. Accommodation costs less than $1.50, food is around $1.05, and beer is under $1.02. Two. two, Turkey. Istanbul is a popular tourist destination, and Turkey can still be affordable if you're earning in USD or other strong currencies. Although December can get chilly, it shouldn't be an issue for US travelers. Hotels cost less than $1.100, food is around $1.10, and beer is under $3. 3. Egypt. With its affordable shakshuka breakfasts and falafel wraps, Egypt is a budget-friendly option. Although it's not a traditional Christmas destination, Beach towns and historical sites offer plenty of excitement. Accommodation costs less than $1.50, food is around $1.04, and beer is under $1.03. 4. Mexico. Coastal and lowland regions like Cancun, Puerto Vallarta, and Playa del Carmen enjoy warm weather during December. Mexico offers something for everyone, with cheap flights from the U.S. adding to its appeal. Hotels cost less than $1.100, food is around $1.10, and beer is under $4.00. 5. Kenya. For a quieter Christmas, consider Kenya. This African gem boasts affordable hotels, food, and tours. Although December 25th is a public holiday, celebrations are not as extravagant. Whether you relax at the beach or explore wildlife, Kenya won't disappoint. Accommodation costs less than $1.80. Food is around $1.08, and beer is under $1.04. Have you ever thought about investing in a company? Well, according to Peter Lynch, if you are ready to invest, you should be able to explain why in a way that even a fifth grader could understand. And not only that, you should be able to do it quickly enough so that the fifth grader won't get bored. Think about it. Why is this important? Lynch believed that if you couldn't explain your investment in simple terms, then maybe you didn't truly understand it yourself. As investors, it's crucial to have a clear understanding of where we're putting our hard-earned money. And if we can't explain it easily, then maybe we need to reevaluate our choice. Lynch's quote highlights the importance of keeping it simple when it comes to investing. The financial world can sometimes be complex and full of jargon, making it easy to get overwhelmed. But taking the time to break down your investment thesis into simple language not only ensures that you comprehend it better, but it also helps others understand it too. So the next time you're considering investing in a company, make sure you can explain your decision in a way that a fifth grader could understand. After all, if you can't simplify it, Maybe it's time to rethink your investment strategy. In today's episode, we covered minor market movements and Apple's dominance, Bitcoin's roller coaster ride, 
the negative sentiment among home builders, positive news for Apple's stock, South Korea's OTC crypto regulations, and the top 10 cheap Christmas holiday destinations, all while emphasizing Peter Lynch's advice on explaining investment choices simply. Thanks for tuning in to The Morning Download, your go-to podcast for personal finance, economics, and market insights in just eight minutes a day. Don't forget to subscribe for more helpful content and sign up for our free newsletter at morningdownload.com slash subscribe.